keep a lookout for raiders. Need to find a place to settle down for the rest of the day. Gotta keep a tab on raider whereabouts. It's hard work making a living out here. Gotta keep a lookout for raiders. Gonna splatter your brain!
are. I have been looking all over for you, little one. You have been so worried. But now you are here, and it is time for a story. So please, get comfortable and listen. I have a story for you. Okay, are we ready? Once upon a time, there were three bears. A mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear. One day, the mama bear made a fine porridge for supper. While they waited for it to cool, the bears went for a walk in the forest. A curious, ill-mannered girl named Goldilocks found the bears home while they were gone and made her way inside. Goldilocks was hungry, so she dipped her finger in one of the bowls of porridge on the table and exclaimed, This porridge is too hot! She tried the second bowl and said, This porridge is too cold! Then she tasted the last bowl and it was just right. So she ate it all up. Goldilocks was now tired. So she sat in Papa Bear's huge chair. This chair is too big, she said. So she tried the next chair. This chair is also big, she cried. But when she tried the smallest chair, she was relieved. This chair is just right. But as she relaxed into it, the chair broke out from under her. Now Goldilocks was getting sleepy. So she lay down on the biggest bed. But it was too hard. So she tried the second bed. But it was too soft. She tried the smallest bed. And it was just right. She fell asleep. The bears came home and saw the mess that Goldilocks had left because she was a naughty child and there was not a Miss Nanny to help her. After seeing that Goldilocks had eaten their porridge and sat in their chairs, they found her sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. So the bears grabbed her and ate her all up. The end. Now, if only Goldilocks had a Miss Nanny from General Atomics International to clean up after her, they never would have known she was there.